Now here, I'm upset about the prosperity gospel because of an article in the Minneapolis Tribune about one of the big churches, 10,000 members, with the pastor having a couple of, you know, a jet and two big condos worth $3 million in Florida and real estate everywhere, all over the place, and uh, gets breaks from his church so he's in trouble with the IRS, and it's just a mess, and I'm really upset about it. Because in the article, one of the leaders was quoted about being a salt, and I just hit the roof. I just went ballistic. What do you think the salt of the earth is? Well, you're the salt of the earth, but how? Let's go to Matthew 5, quick. Matthew 5. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to experiment with you here. This is my exegetical uh, conviction, and you test it. I'm going to define for you the salt of the earth in terms of God is the gospel. Because I see that in this text in Matthew 5, 11 to 16. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. Now, I believe that the reward there is Christ God ultimately. I believe in degrees of rewards in heaven, but ultimately every reward is leading to God and He is the final reward. So, because we have an all-satisfying, glorious, final, high treasure called Jesus Christ or the Father in heaven, we can rejoice in the midst of persecution. Rejoice and be glad in that day, for great is your reward in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets. You're the salt of the earth. Now what do you think the salt is? If you just let it flow, let it flow. I'll tell you what it's not. Wealth. And here's why. Prosperity Gospel is no gospel because what it does is offer to people what they want as natural people. You don't have to be born again to want to be wealthy and therefore you don't have to be converted to be saved by the prosperity gospel. When you appeal to people to come to Christ on the basis of what they already want, 1 Corinthians 2 makes no sense. The natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit. They are foolishness to him. Therefore, if you offer to people what they do not consider foolishness in the natural man, you're not preaching the gospel. And the prosperity gospel offers to people what they desperately want as fallen people, gives it to them, and grows huge churches. And we export it to Africa and the Philippines, flying in with our jets, bilking of their money, and going back to our condos worth three million dollars. It is horrific what we export as Americans. I can't believe what we tolerate in the church. So I'm on a crusade to crucify the prosperity gospel. I hate the prosperity gospel because I love, I love the glory of God.